Devin Bell to kick. 97th all-time meeting. One of the oldest rivalries in the SEC. And we're underway. Cyrus Jones about two yards deep. Across the 25 and down the sideline. Kicker's going to try to drag him out of bounds and will. They start at the 41-yard line. With Eddie Lacy with McCarron. He pump fakes and throws a screen back to Lacy going to the left side. Looked like he'd lose yardage, but he's dragging people out to the 47 for a pickup of six. It's those five guys up front that distinguish this Alabama offense. Led by Barrett Jones in the center, about to snap it to McCarron on a second down and three. The stretch play to Lacy. Got the first down. And a couple more. Pick up a five. Alabama, 46% of their third down conversions this year. They've already converted one tonight. McCarron is flushed out of the pocket. Does a little traffic direction, trying to get a block. And did he tip to out of bounds? Good enough for the first down. It looks like he might be a foot short. So fourth down, less than one. And now the ship comes to the other side. And they're definitely strong to the right. As Todd said, including Fluker. Both tight ends join him over there. Fourth and short. Lacey goes that way. Wow, Boy, he is know. early. I think he got it, but he didn't get it by much. As they work from just outside the Mississippi State 35. Play action. McCarron. Long ball on the sideline, and it's brought in by Norwood. Nice throw and catch to the 21, a pickup of 15. Really nice job by A.J. McCarron finding the matchup. And if you haven't seen this freshman, he's something else. The guy in the backfield with McCarron. He gets the call, and he pops through to the 11, maybe the 10. Might have another first down. I think he does. And in the shotgun, McCarron. Draw play, Yeldon. Cuts it outside, inside the five, and touchdown. Ladarius Perkins and Jamie and Lewis are back deep for the Bulldogs. It's a high short kick. It's going to be fielded at the eight by Perkins. Perkins, and he found an avenue across the 35, 40. Ball is out. And I don't know, was it covered before it went out of bounds? Well, they're pointing that Mississippi State has maintained possession. Boy, luckily for them. So Mississippi State and Alabama territory. Play action. Russell fires complete. It's going to be very close to a first down to Sylvester Hampill as we check in with Reese Davis. Reese. Reese, I know you have a big interest in what's going on right here. Alabama leading 7 0. The Mississippi State's got a first down at the tie at 45. Perkins. This is a tough team to run against. The toughest in the country. Loss of two. Four receivers for Russell. They fake the draw. He stands tall and goes deep, and he's got his man down the sideline. Complete to Chris Smith. What a throw and catch. Bumpus is stacked up to the top as one of the two receivers that way. Russell goes to the corner of the end zone for Bumpus, and it's too far in front of him, incomplete. C.J. Mosley put a hit on Russell. Alabama's only given up three points all year in the first quarter. We saw that last week in Tennessee. And now they block the kick. D. Milner with a block. Things have worked out both for very well with both because they're both undefeated. That they are. Somebody's going to go home with a loss tonight. Here's A.J. McCarron on play action. Flares it out to the fullback, Kelly Johnson. And he's about a yard shy. There is Slay over on the corner. Stopped him. They run the extra tight end over to the right. See if they go that way on short yardage. They actually go the other way. Lacey's got the first down anyway. As he picks up a couple, they'll move the sticks and we'll check in with Reese Davis. Right now, Alabama on the march here, leading by a touchdown. Play fake, quick throw out in the flat again. And that is the tight end, Michael Williams, who had a touchdown catch last week against Tennessee. And an end around coming. Jones, he's got the first down. Christian Jones, Deontay Skinner made the tackle, but he'll move the sticks again. They haven't tried to dial one up to Amari Cooper yet, who had the huge game, best game ever, single game, as far as yardage for a freshman receiver for Alabama in the game we saw last week in Tennessee. McCarron, plenty of time. Long ball. Man out there. He's got him on the fly. Kenny Bell, touchdown.
Nick Griffin in the tailback spot for Mississippi State. He gets it on a little counter up the middle. And a great run by Nick Griffin. Sophomore goes for almost 10. It's either a quarterback run or he's going to throw it. He will. And he throws a slant and throws a strike across the 40 to Malcolm Johnson. Both Perkins and Griffin in there with Russell in the shotgun. Alabama thinking about a blitz off the corner. Now Perkins comes over and sets in the slot. Russell waits and fires. Would have been a great catch. Yeah, that was, that was a flag. Yep. Arcedo Clark, the intended receiver. They fake the draw. They want to throw a screen, but they have to throw it away. Alabama was waiting on it. Perkins would have been the intended receiver. And C.J. Mosley and company were all over it. Well, we'll see if Swedenberg can knock one out of bounds down inside the 10. Fair catch taken at the 11, maybe the 12. And a penalty marker. Wait a minute. Going to be an interference on a fair catch. D. Arrington. You got to give him a little bit of room. Now it's Tyden Williams on the move on second and 10. That will be what they do. And yelled in. Might get the first down anyway. He does. Goes for 12 or 13. Cooper goes out to the top of your screen on second and seven. As McCarron in the gun. Fakes the handoff to Yeldon and fires out in the flat to Williams. A tight end. Puts his head down. And he's going to be right at the first down marker. I think he got it with his forward progress. From just outside the Mississippi State 35. And McCarron off play action is going to take a shot deep down the middle. Perfect strike complete to Amari Cooper down to the 11. Good call, Todd. McCarron lobs it. Williams, touchdown. Something happened to Jonathan Banks, too. I, I think he was either fooled by the formation, thought he was going to get help from inside, but he kind of went to sleep on the backside. Uh, they can't afford to get tight right now either. Alabama has a tendency to make you tight. Second and 15, play fake. Russell, pressure, down he goes at the five. Denzel Duvall, a freshman linebacker with a sack. Extra rusher coming, and McCarron throws incomplete, intended for Christian Jones. And Love made the hit. He's looking left, but the pass is too short to be a first down. Robert Johnson made the catch, but he's two yards shy of the first down. And they've got Cyrus Quanjo out there at left tackle now. They knew how talented he was, so Barrett moves to the inside where he makes a lot of the calls. McCarron down the middle, and Cooper breaks one tackle, not the second one. He's going to be a yard short of the first down. And the tie defense is shut out Bumpus so far with seven minutes remaining in the half. Russell, pressure coming again across the middle, completes out to the 30, and that's Clark. And it's going to be close to a first down. Depends on the size of the foot of the lineman. Linesman. Now it's not going to matter. Flag down. They'll play it safe with a draw play to Perkins. Cuts it outside. Mosley tracks him down, though, at the 12-yard line. And it's punting time again. With a little over six minutes remaining in the half. If you looked at last year's defense, which I thought was the best defense I've seen in college football in many, many years, the numbers are almost identical. They, they have not dropped off one bit. Play action, McCarron. Whoa. Took a nasty spill. Remember, he hurt his ankle in the Missouri game. Todd mentioned it earlier. McKinney with the blitz from his middle linebacker spot. And Dell really got a hold of his last punt, but it just made it into the end zone. High kick, Banks making a fair catch. Nice to get out of the way. One of his own players was there, and it's going to roll all the way down to the six-yard line. Well, looked like they were going to have good field position. Started in a pistol set, and that Perkins again goes up to the top of your screen. Russell hits. One of the on-rushing linemen, Jesse Williams, the big nose tackle, swats that one down. With two minutes, five seconds left, they've got the ball and a three-touchdown cushion with good field position and all their timeouts remaining. Yeah. I think you worked the two-minute offense here. Good opportunity for McCarron. 
Throws it out to Williams. That's going to get him into Bulldog territory, close to a first down. If we, if we say one more thing about him, he's going to bench press one of us yeah. when the game is over. Put whatever he wants on the side of him. You bet. I'm not going to argue with him. Second down in a yard. Going to go deep. McCarron. Jones with a catch. And he made it at the 22. Sliding out of bounds. Number 22 with a 22-yard pickup. McCarron. Pressure coming. Had it batted down by Cameron Lawrence, the outside linebacker. Jeremy Shelley, eight for eight. McCarron to hold. It'll be a 34-yard field goal attempt to try to make it 24 to nothing. Kick out the way, and it's perfect. So last year, it was a 24 to seven Alabama win. Right now, they lead 24 to nothing, and we're not yet at halftime. Uh, and you know, Holly, the other thing he said, not just his decision-making, but his leadership, he's impressed with this year. The command he has of everything that they're doing offensively. Guy that was right behind him in pass efficiency in this conference, Tyler Russell. Russell pressure throws complete. Finally, they get one to Bumpus. It's not a big gainer, and he's got three guys draped all over him for a pickup of seven. They could pick up a deep out here. Somebody might have had a shot at a Hail Mary, but the time is wasting. This will be the last play. And they get it across the middle, but clock runs out. Should have used the timeout. I don't understand. At least give yourself a shot to throw it to the end zone. Third down and eight. Russell flushed out of the pocket. Wants to throw on the run. Finally does, but it's incomplete. It's knocked down by Blue again. And there was a holding penalty. I mean, C.J. Mosley was coming on the pressure and got tackled. A second down at six. He'll get it again. And he runs in to the Mississippi State defense and keeps on grinding. And he's close to a first down. And so it's really down to Yeldon and Lacey. They also have Kenyon Drake, who plays some a youngster, but those two guys carry the bulk of the load. Play fake. McCarron throws on the run and diving for it. Going to the ground to get it is Cooper for the first down. Only sacked once tonight by McKinney, who came out of blitz straight up the middle. And here he is going deep, and it is bobbled and drops. Darius Slay should have had an interception, and that would have been the first one since... The Mississippi State game a year ago that McCarron would have thrown, so he got away with one there. Alabama doesn't have a real long ball field goal kicker. So they'll just play the percentages here, try to drop this inside the five, and it's caught at the one-yard line by John Fulton. That's how you do it. Again from his own end zone. Throws a strike, and it's a first down. And off comes the helmet of D. Milner. He'll have to go out for a play as Lewis made the catch. Perkins with Griffin in there as well. He follows Griffin's blocking, and he goes out close to another first down. I think part of the reason that play was successful, Alabama was a little bit late getting lined up. They tried to sub in a couple different defensive linemen. They hustle up to the line. And Perkins pops through there. Sincero made the stop again, but he... Got three yards on the carry. But if you can play two safeties back deep like they have right now and still stop the run with what you have around the box, that makes it very difficult if you're an offense going against them. Second and four for Russell. They bring an extra rusher, and he's going to get leveled, but he got the pass complete somehow. Clark and Nico Johnson really blasted Russell. And a very, again, a typical player on this defense. Solid, fundamentally sound. Plays with great hands and leverage. Tenth play of the drive, play fake, and the throw to the far side. Complete to Green. Green on the sideline gets a first down. Stays in bounds. He didn't have a lot of room to work over there, but he tiptoes down the sidelines. If you can say tiptoe for a tight end that weighs 240, and he got 15 yards. On the drive, Tyler Russell has only missed once. Play action, wants to go deep. On the sideline, he's got a man open, and it's complete to Chris Smith, and Chris Smith drags a couple of tied players to the 13-yard line. Got it away, play fake. Trouble in the pocket, and he throws, and it is caught somehow at the six-yard line. I don't know how he got that pass away, and I don't know how Chris Smith made the catch. Well, the ball really floated, and Mississippi State has fought all the way from inside their 20 to inside the one. But they're going to have to fight for this touchdown. Third and goal. 
They fake the toss. They throw to the end zone. And it's intercepted by Lester. And you saw the first interception in 135 tosses for him. Here's Yeldon. Wow. His feet are quick in the hole, and now they're quick to the outside. T.J. Yeldon across the 40, all the way out to midfield. Here, 24-0 Alabama. In the waiting moments of the third quarter, A.J. McCarron. Pressure coming from behind, and down he goes. And it's Cameron Lawrence, one of the few people that's put some pressure on him tonight. If A.J. doesn't come back out, Blake Sims would be the guy that we would anticipate would come in for Alabama. And Dell, really a short kick this time. Trying to clear everybody out of the way. And now Alabama, Robert Lester's the guy that ended up with a football, but let's see. I don't know. They're, they're saying they got the ball, but I didn't see it hit a Mississippi State player. Barrett Jones was a, a Scrabble master, Scrabble champion when he was young, and now is into the words with friends thing, which a lot of my family's into as well. So is Holly. She's going to challenge him, I'm sure, for the rest of the year. And that pass to Lacey on the run. Eddie Lacey's gone. Touchdown, Alabama. Philip Ely, 27-yard touchdown pass. A.J. McCarron's back on the sideline. Meanwhile, his understudy, Philip Ely, threw his fourth pass of the season, completing his third, and that one went 27 yards for a touchdown. It was odd, too, in that possession. He was out there at wide receiver a couple plays when the other quarterback was in there taking snaps from the shotgun, Blake Sims, and then when he got under center, he threw a touchdown. Here's Lewis from the five-yard line. Lewis pops through. Out across the 40 to the 41. And the ball comes out. Does Alabama have it again? Nice return. And then he coughed it up at about the 42-yard line. And Alabama's got it. They came into the game leading the nation in turnover margin with plus 17. So Notre Dame... Went to Norman in uh, 1957 and stopped a 47 game Bud Wilkinson winning streak and now they take away the hopes of the Sooners. Yeah. Any kind of hopes they had for BCS championship game. And first down run by Yelton. Let's check in with Holly. And for Mississippi State this was the beginning of a really tough stretch of football games in their schedule. And they're going to have to regroup after their first loss of the season. Drake, another freshman, blasts his way for 11 more yards. Trailing for a total of 15 seconds. That one just blows know, me away. I know. I was sitting there thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> oh, nice move in the hole by Drake. And he's got it first and goal at the seven-yard line. Well, you know, it's interesting. Dan Mullen told me on Thursday, he said, you know, we're excited to be in this game, and we know it's a huge game. But quite honestly, the A&M game next week might be more important because regardless of what we do in this one, that one looms large. Drake's going to just cruise into the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Josh Robinson in there behind Prescott. They fake it to him. Prescott throws complete this time. That's first down toss out to the 48-yard line to Johnson on the other side. 126 to 3 in points off turnovers for Alabama so far this year through almost eight games. Got a flag down. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 44. Since the 2011 Capital One game, which we did when they pounded Michigan State 49 to 7, that was off a 10 and 3 regular season record. Since that time, they've only allowed one opponent to gain over 300 yards of offense. Wow. And that was Georgia Southern, who runs a triple option. Everybody else they've held under 300. Well, here comes another possible turnover. Prescott got back on top of it, way back at the 45 yard line. Pump fake, and now deep throw in the middle, and a good one it is. Lewis with the catch, and it is a first down. Nice throw by Prescott. Yeah. Remember, all their other red zone trips tonight have ended in disaster. Josh Robinson to the outside, and now a first down run, and he's still taking would-be tacklers down to a first and goal for Mississippi State. Kirby Smart, defensive coordinator as well. First and goal. 
Prescott rolls, throws to the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. And it's Robert Johnson who had three catches on this drive. Holly mentioned earlier, Barrett Jones, he said, we came back about three days after winning the national title last year, and the coaches said, would you consider moving to center, which Holly told the story that he obviously did and is doing with great success. But in saying that, as Sims goes for a first down run and spins out to the 48-yard line, I said to Barrett Jones, I said, you know, you mentioned three days, you enjoyed it. Second down and three. Stretch play to Drake. He is running hard. It just shows you how deep Alabama is, even missing a couple of running backs that Todd was talking about earlier. Alabama ran the ball their final 15 snaps from scrimmage as we've got a flag down. Five yards, still second down. All right. Because the foul occurred inside of the minute in the fourth quarter, it'll be a 10 seconds for traction for the game clock. Ball game is over. So, Nick Saban, who will turn 61 on Halloween, has another treat to add to his bag of tricks here tonight. 38 to 7, Alabama all over Mississippi State.